Sansevieria is also known as snake plant or mother and tongue. Laws these popular names allude to one of the most frequent varieties of the plant, which has long, flat sword-like leaves. There are a slew of other options as well, interesting fact, vipers or salon bowstring hemp is a common term for Sansevieria that you may not be familiar with. This term was given because to the strength of the plant fibers, which are strong enough to be used to produce bowstrings. This common name is a perfect fit for the Zeelanica. Finally, thanks to molecular discoveries, Sansevieria has now been classified as part of the Dracaena genus, 2018. In fact, the argument over whether Sansevieria is a Dracaena extends back to the 19th century. Who'd have guessed? In our location, all of the Sansevierias that may be cultivated as house plants or tropicals have a few common qualities. Sansevierias are winter hardy in zones 10 to 12 and are native to tropical Western Africa, Madagascar, and Southern Asia. They make superb houseplants that can handle a variety of light situations, despite the fact that they are not winter hardy. You may discover a number of lighting suggestions online, ranging from low to strong light. What is the explanation for this? They can withstand nearly any level of light, even artificial light, yet too much direct sunlight might cause foliage to burn. As a result, avoid placing them in direct afternoon sun outside or in windows facing south or west. The intensity of intriguing leaf colors can be diminished by a lack of light. When it comes to foliage or leaves, Sansevierias have a unique set. Thick stemless, water-storing leaves might be tall and sword-shaped, narrow and flat, or even circular, depending on the species. Drought tolerance is a major feature shared by all of them. Sansevierias do not require a lot of water to thrive. When the soil has dried out, water, thirsty leaves may pucker slightly. Watering too much, on the other hand, might lead to root rot. Plant in a well-draining pot or, if using a cash pot, remove the plant to water and then replace it in the cash pot once the excess water has drained. The low feeding requirements of Sansevieria make it an easy plant to grow. During the growing season, from spring to fall, fertilize Sansevierias once a month. Half the recommended rate of a balanced houseplant fertilizer-like bonide liquid plant food is used. Apply fertilizer when the plant is well hydrated and not water strained, as with all fertilizers. When you receive your Sansevieria, it will be planted in well-draining soil. When repotting, use the same type. Fertilum cactus soil or a good earth brand professional growing mix are two options. Root rot is more likely to occur if you use a heavy potting soil. Sansevierias may be propagated from seed, and they actually blossom and set seed. This isn't generally a practical propagation method because they rarely do it when cultivated indoors and the plants themselves grow so slowly. Rhizome division or leaf cutting are two common means of propagation. Snake Plant Benefits Air purifiers, snake plants are NASA recommended air purifiers, one of the best. They clean the air from toxic substances, particularly benzene, formaldehyde, xylene and trichloroethylene. While cleaning the air, it also provides high levels of humidity and oxygen to the room. These properties of snake plants keep the surroundings clean and fresh. Snake plants are drought tolerant and require very little water. The most common cause of death is overwatering. Even in the summer, it is a drought resistant plant. Snake plants are great to have, even if you don't have a lot of water or work in an office where watering is tough. Symbolic of good virtues, it is thought that the first snake plant was cultivated in China, and its symbolism was highly valued by the nurturers. Longevity, prosperity, intelligence, beauty, art, health, and strength are all provided to the person who looks after the plant. Easy to propagate, snake plants come in a variety of species. The plant can be propagated in two ways, leaf cut and rhizome cut. Cut the rhizomes, offsets, as close as possible to the stem. Plant them in a container with good drainage after leaving them in a glass jar with water to produce bigger roots. Similarly, you can grow roots on the leaf cutting in a glass jar before planting it, or you can plant the leaf directly in the pot.
snake plants absorb CO2 at night, which helps to lower CO2 levels. Drought-tolerant, succulent plants like Sansevieria trifasciata perform crassulation acid metabolism CAM, the ability to perform a specific type of photosynthesis. Snake plants can grow in a wide range of humid conditions, snake plants can thrive in a variety of humid environments. They thrive in humid environments like toilets and drier environments like the office. Waterless and with extra drainage to reduce stagnant water when placed in a humid area. Water deeply and frequently in arid locations, but only when the soil is dry. Snake plants are a low maintenance type of plant. They can survive in the absence of water and sunlight. They're the most low maintenance plants you'll ever have. They will bless you with their remarkable beauty and air purifying properties in any circumstance.